guys welcome back to my channel coco to see bienvenue sur ma chaîne so today's video is a story time about my girl my ex friend at the moment because she used to be my girl but now we're no longer friends so yeah how she tried to hit on my fiance okay if you guys don't know this video is already in french i did make a video like this in french the same story time in french and i realized that i have both english and french audience so i'm trying to do something a bit different here i posted a poll on my instagram if you don't follow my instagram make sure you do that because um i'll be asking you guys questions as far as topic i need to film about and all that good stuff so yes i did post a poll on my instagram asking you guys what i should do if i should do make this channel more french or more english and most of or both um, and most of you guys voted on the both so i decided to post one french and one english video so my french viewers can get the same thing that my english viewers are getting and i can satisfy everybody but first before we get started i would like to let you guys know this video was sponsored by duval um company this is the radiant skincare system for everyday use but i personally use this five times a week not every single day so i let two days you know in between to let my skin breathe and i use it again and it comes with four deep cleansing brushes let me show you guys i had this already for a month and you guys know i have really bad acne scars and if you follow me on my social media you know it got way better because using this and adding this to your skincare routine is bomb it comes with four different head brushes for deep cleansing one is a pumice one is an exfoliation and one is a cleansing brush um and there's an extra cleansing brush right here so you get four which is awesome i use this for like big body part like when i want to like use it on my body i use the bigger one and these two i use it on my face and this one as well for like stubborn parts on my face so but it's very gentle as well even though it's a bit um rough it's pretty good on your skin so you get to really deeply clean your skin and yeah so don't forget to check them out and use my code just lane for 70 percent off on your purchase okay and all the information will be in the description box down below so let's get started so in this story time guys there are five character five main character um one of them is me jordan my fiance caroline the girl ibrahim the her boyfriend and the last one is called we're gonna call her trash okay because i don't want to curse we're gonna call her trash because she was garbage she's trash um yeah and i will throw some names here and there but they're not really main character so that's that so i first started peeping um caroline's friends being a bit effy when we went to like a beach like we all decided to go to the beach i think it was the fourth of july if i'm not wrong we all went to the beach right and she was like all over caroline's man so i was like calling caroline like girl you better check your friend like she's doing the most she's doing too much but caroline was like girl you're just overprotective you know don't worry about it it's nothing so i'm sitting here like okay but i know what i see and i see what i said so you know so she was just like so i guess she trusted her friends so much and her man so much the whole time that guy was trash too anywho uh when i saw her getting a bit closer to jordan she because she was a bit shorter than us so she would be like oh can you guys carry me in the water and i would be like mm. so i told jordan you know after i was like i don't trust that girl like that like she's a bit eat you know so he was already like, i said yeah he was like, okay cool so he's he started to you know back back out a little bit every time she was trying to get closer he would be like you know backing up and i know my man i know after i told him how i feel he's gonna do his best not to make me feel uncomfortable you know what i'm saying so oh sorry. anyways so i went and i told caroline i said i just saw trash getting a bit closer to jordan as well she's like girl you're such an overprotective girlfriend you know guys don't like that you gotta chill you gotta trust your man i said i trust my man but i don't trust your friend and temptation we are all human we get tempted right okay so she wanted to try yeah she, she proceeded to try to make me feel like i was the one going crazy i was the one doing the most i was like okay like at the end of the day i, I saw like i saw <laughs> trash you know on the back of her man like he carried her on his back and like her leg were crossed around on his private part but when i tried to tell um caroline she didn't want to listen so i said okay by the way let's put this in quotation mark that same night after the beach trash and caroline's boyfriend slept together mind you we found that out after you know after like 
months and months later on you know so i guess all this was for her, them to lead to having sex that night so i was seeing all those little things so but she didn't want to listen and i have a friend called latifa you guys check her out and her boyfriend michael hey michael so they also came and joined us at the beach that day because her cooking is a one like she can cook like she she the best okay and she also does orders so if you guys live in the dmv yeah should definitely check her out i'll put her link right here for her page so you guys can check her out and order from her she make the best she's from ivory coast and she can cook so well but anyways quick promo for my girl but yeah she came and brought food you know there were little girls around the beach so we grilled we ate it was really good and then they came in their own car mind you me jordan Ibrahim, Caroline, and Trash came in one car, so when it was time to go, they left, you know, my friend uh, Latifa and her boyfriend Michael left, so we went in one car and left, so apparently when uh, Ibrahim dropped Jordan and I off, he went and dropped Trash off, and went and dropped his girlfriend, Caroline, who is my friend, excuse me, he went and dropped her off, and he went home. But we ended up finding out that he didn't go home. Excuse me. Whoo. Keep burping. He didn't go home. He dropped trash. He went and dropped his girlfriend, Caroline, and went back to trash house and picked her up and went to his place and spent the night with her. We already know what happened. But that's what actually, you know, happened. Because mind you, when we, you know, we found out that they were, you know, messing with each other, we sat them down and told them to, to tell us the truth, me and Caroline. We told them to tell us the truth and stuff like that. And they told us, they finally admitted that it all started, you know, even before the beach. They said they slept together once. And after the beach that night, that was the second time sleeping with each other. So we were like, hmm. So this whole time, we were just being fooled. I told her, I said, not we. You were being fooled because I warned you. I saw it. I warned you, but you didn't want to listen. But anyway, so that's how I started seeing the girl a bit, you know, Effie. And guess what? She forgave him. After the cheating part, she forgave him. I was like, girl, you know, you are such a good girlfriend because that wouldn't be me. I'm sorry. And it's just boyfriend. No, if as a boyfriend and, you know, you're cheating on me, what will you do as my fiance or my husband? So I was like, girl, you do you, girl. But that wouldn't be me. You're such a good girlfriend. So she forgave him and she cut the friend off, right? She cut trash off. So now it's only four characters left. Jordan, me, Ibrahim, and Caroline. So tell me why this is where this, the story really gets juicy so you know if you skip all that that's okay but this is when you know i jump in so ibrahim hit me up on facebook okay i wish i could post the screenshot right now but i'm not trying to expose nobody like that okay but ibrahim hit me up on facebook talking about myself i had a dream so i'm sitting here like you know what is it the dream about so he's like i don't want to talk to you about it you know you know he first made it seem like you know it was something so bad so in my head i thought like it was something that had to do with him and his girl like maybe you know i dreamed about my girlfriend cheating on me you know some crazy thing like that maybe she really is cheating on me you know some guys be like oh i dreamed about this and actually believe it it's really stupid but some people think like that so i'm like okay what happened and then he's like oh i don't want to talk about it i said okay and then he's like because i'm scared that you're gonna tell your friend so I'm sick. my friend asking his girlfriend, Caroline. So I'm like, you know, what happened? And then he's like, man, um, can you promise me you won't tell nobody? First of all, you, me and him are not even that cool like that. For me to promise you I won't tell nobody. But then I said, okay, go ahead. What's going on? So he was like, I dreamed that you were a good writer. <laughs> Excuse me? Like, what? So he said you were a good writer. I said, what do you mean? Because me, I like acting a bit slow. So I was like, what do you mean? Writing what? Like, what? And he was like, yeah, you were writing me so well. Are you really a good writer in real life? So I'm seeing him like, this is so inappropriate. You shouldn't be asking me that question. We shouldn't be talking about stuff like that. So that's off limit. And then he was like, answer me, answer me. I said, no, I'm good. He's like, oh, you know, me and your friend is not even like that anymore. I don't even want her no more. She keep forcing me. I cheated on her with her friend. 
he was mentioning trash with her friend she still didn't want to leave me she's still on you know on my you know my thing like she knows i don't want her no more but she, whenever i broke up with her she would come over mix up like you know a crazy and in front of my house i let her in we sleep together and the routine starts back over so i'm sitting here like dang like my friend is such a is, is in such a messed up situation how about i try to help so i told him i said okay i can sit y'all down to try to fix things you know he was like oh no we already try don't worry about it but it's cool can you just answer me are you such a good writer because in my dream you were writing me so well i'm like like you like I'm done talking about this I don't want to talk about it thank God Jordan saw everything so Jordan was able to see the message because I showed everything to Jordan so Jordan was like uh, what you know Jordan started texting him back you know like stop texting my girl about this you know like that's inappropriate he started apologizing and stuff like that so I'm over here like okay when they were done I took my phone I said let me call Caroline, you know, I got to tell her this because that's my girl. Like, I've been knowing her for years since I came to the country, since I was young. So I was like, I'm going to hit her up and tell her. So I told her to come over. She came over. It was just me, her, and Jordan. So I was like, this, this is what happened. I showed her the screenshot. I showed her everything, the messages, everything. She started crying. Called the guy. Cussed him out. The guy was like, oh, no. um, That's not true. So she started sending him all the screenshots from my phone that she took and sent herself. So she took my phone, took screenshots send it to herself and then she was using it to send it to him to prove him like boy you the one lying type of stuff so in my head i'm like okay like at least she saw that i didn't do anything so in my head i'm thinking my friend knows i didn't do anything you know it has nothing to do with me it's not really me right <laughs> wrong so she was crying so much she said she wanted to go home you know she just hopped in her car left she lived in pg county so it's like about 30 and up minutes like it's not more than for a family but between 30 to 45 minutes drive you know so she drove home she left and then jordan was over because he was over my house at that time i used to live you know in um germantown but not where i live right now you know it, it was at my old house so she she left my house and jordan was there you know we were just chat, chat, chatting it up like what like that's so messed up like guys can really be trash mind you we were all like right you know rooting for her like damn like but i'm happy that you know she took it well at least you know even though she cried you know she didn't go over the top like some female would like because i'm not about to say i'm crazy but i'm crazy you know like some female would drive to the guy and you know do some crazy stuff but she cried it out called the guy cursed him out told him like you know she's over him and stuff like that and went home so i was like you know you know i hope she gets well i will check up on her again later like we were like feeling for her technically tell me why i guess the girl thought jordan left as well the girl called jordan like that was like maybe like 20 25 minutes later okay after she had already left my house she calls jordan she's like are you alone jordan was like yeah because i was right next to him he was actually getting ready to leave himself then the phone ring and it's her so i'm like pick up and she's like oh are you alone have you already left just house jordan i was like I was telling him to like, see, see, like, and he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I left. What, what, what happened? I left her house already. And then she has the audacity to say, I think Jocelyn did something to him, for him to be attracted, or to even have those type of thoughts. What? I'm like, like that guy has nothing that I even think about when I think of a man that will attract me. Okay, like I'm pretty picky. Okay. So there was nothing on him that could attract me. Mind you, they were like 11 years apart. <laughs> and I'm like one year or like one year younger than her. So he will be 12 years from me. So no, uh, nothing is wrong with dating someone older than you like that or that guy. But that's just not my cup of tea. So and he didn't even look that good. He didn't even look good at all. Let me not be rude. But that's the truth. He didn't look good, period. Okay, I, I said it. But anyways, they complement each other. Both of them don't look good, so. <laughs> I don't want to be shady, but that's the truth. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Sorry, not sorry. So, that was that. And then Jordan was like, well, you know, why would you think that, you know, just ended a good thing to tell you? She's like, oh, no, I think um, they already had something going on previously. You know how, like, him and my, friend, my old friend used to mess with each other? You know, I think it was something like that, but Justin was just over it this time. So she decided to tell us. So I'm like, wow. Like, I was like, I couldn't believe what she was saying. I was like, you know, like, I was really shocked. And then Jordan was like, no, I don't believe so. And then she, she proceeds. To tell Jordan, I think we should start seeing each other. Oh, okay. 
So in my head, I'm like, wow, like girls are really trash. Like I thought it was just guys, but girls can be trash as well, like badly, you know. So Jenna was like, what do you mean? She's like, you know what I'm talking about, you know, being more intimate, you know, see each other more because we both need to get back at them. So Jenna was like, just didn't do anything to me. I think she actually, by telling me, I know she, you know, she don't hide stuff from me. And by telling you, it was to help you to open your eyes about your man. So I don't think what Justin did was wrong. But she's proceeded to make it seem like, you know, I did something wrong. It was my fault too. It wasn't just the guy, you know, they should start, you know, together you know all that jazz so i was like wow 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 <laughs> i was so shocked but jordan was like oh no you know jordan kept defending me like that's my soldier he's gonna defend me regardless okay and that's on period period poo so of course jordan was like oh no no just anything like that you know he was defending me and on this point i was actually very right so he had a right to defend me for a fact so she was like, oh, I understand that's your girl. She started like going off on him. That's your girl. You don't want to, you know, um, cheat on her because you think she's so faithful. You know, I think she also has something to do with this whole situation. Girl, boo-boo. Boo-boo. Your man is not all that. He's nothing. At matter of fact, he wasn't even cute at all to me. You know, people see beauty differently. So for me, he wasn't cute at all. For you, he was probably like the cutest nigga, like, ugh. I don't want to curse in this channel. The cutest man on earth. But for me, he's not. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't think your man is attractive. And I'm sorry I had nothing to do with it. But you decided to hit on my man to start messing with him. That doesn't make sense. But I'm happy that I'm dating a soldier. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. So, he, of course, he took my side and tried to tell her how, how it was. And she didn't want to listen. She went off and, you know... And then after that, she cut off the phone. I think she hung up on him. I cannot remember the end, but I know the phone got cut off or something. One of them cut, hung up the phone. Or they were done talking, they hung up, something like that. Um, couple minutes later, let's say about 10 minutes later, she calls me to tell me, Oh, hey, I just got home. I just went to let you know I just got home. So I'm like, oh, really? Oh, I'm so sorry again about what happened today. You know, I hope you guys are well. Have he even tried calling you? Like, I'm asking her if he tried contacting her to apologize. And she's like, no, but it's cool. Excuse me, it's whatever, you know, karma is, a, you know, karma is going to come for him and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. And then I was waiting for her to, to bring up the subject that she just called Jordan. And then she wasn't saying anything about it. So I was like, by the way, hmm, hmm, Caroline, I was around when you called Jordan. I heard everything you said. And I don't think that's very friendly. Like, like that's not what a friend would do. And we're calling each other cousins. So definitely what not what a family member should be doing. So I personally feel like you are a snake. You are fake. I helped you, but you don't see it like that. Like for being a snake person, I don't I can't be friend with you anymore. Like, and she was like, Oh yes, you have something to do with it. She tried to wrap me up. I said, girl. You know what? Believe what you want to believe. I know I have peace of mind because I told you the truth. I told you what happened. Now it's up to you to believe it or not. And obviously you don't want to believe it. And that's okay with me. Like, that's one thing about me. I'm okay with people not believing me. Like, I'm okay with it because as long as I know I told you the truth and how I really felt with a situation, you don't have to believe me. Believing me is your choice. Believing me is what, you know, you want to do. So I really didn't care about, like, proving myself right or wrong because I knew already by what I showed her the messages I saw I showed her she should have known better you know so that was that and then to this day we are not friends anymore I don't think we can ever be friends I don't hate her no bad blood against her but we can never be friends again that's all like I give three strikes and remember you guys if you hear my other friend story time this was the third one so it was just time for me to go so she was in my life for a season unfortunately and her season is over and I'm sure she was in my life for a reason because trust me I learned a lot from that whole situation okay so I hope she did as well I wish her nothing but best of luck till this day by the way let me throw some tea in here till this day Ibrahim still follows me on social media because I'm not the type to go ahead and I'll follow you block you you know and all that because guess what i want to, i want you to see me doing well i want you to see me flourishing she her and i like we i, I think this is going to be a whole nother story time because we went head and head like it, it became cyber bullying she was posting my picture 
cursing me out on social media my babe my boo my baby latifah got into it like she got she jumped in the situation defending me the girl called one of her friends to go on my friend like it became a big chaos you know so with her and i we had to block each other like it had to happen because it was super toxic so that's all we we're doing just going at each other while still following each other throwing shades and then um we deleted each other and then blocked each other on on because you know my, my stuff are public so blocked each other on facebook like it became big you know for nothing just because she was mad <laughs> She was mad her man wanted me and I didn't want him. <laughs> so that's that. But the guy and I we still follow each other on Instagram and Facebook. I want him to see me doing great, okay? And now guess what guys? He's dating a 19 years old, which means he's dating someone actually that's younger than her. So this guy keep going down on age as far as the girls he dates. So I hope he doesn't end up dating someone under 18 and he'll end up in jail. Because that'd be illegal. So yeah, but anyways, that's neither here nor there that's all i had to say today okay guys thank you so much for watching today's story time i hope you guys enjoyed it i love filming i love filming this story time for you guys because i couldn't wait man because everybody liked the french version i was like how about i give this tea to my english supporters so here you go um thank you so much for watching once again i love you guys so 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 much don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat it will be here and also in the description box down below for your convenience. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. I, I, I hope I guys.